There you guys are. Let's get started. <laughs> What's going on guys? We are back. Sorry for the slight vacation, but like I said, I was dealing with some stuff and uh, you know, took a break and we're back. So we're at the shop today. We're gonna start working, get back working on the Cobra and then we're gonna go from there. So like I said, Mike pulled in with the ATV so it was getting loud so it cut off. But um, so like I said, we're gonna get back on the Cobra Termi Swap, as you can see, is still sitting here. She's just here collecting dust, you know. Help. Oh, I can't even spell. Help. <laughs> um, so what we gotta do is, uh, sorry. What we gotta do is um, we gotta swap the engine mounts out because um, it actually has the engine mounts for this, the notch in it. And then we're gonna put the original mounts in it and we needed a release bearing so we got a release bearing so we're going to toss the transmission in it today hopefully get this thing everything good to go drive shaft set so then we're pretty much dealing with um wiring and things like that under the hood some bracketry stuff and things like that so what we got to do is we got to get the car pushed out from there to get it to the hoist here and then we can start going from there. Uh, we're gonna have to hang the motor probably um, to get the mounts out. And then, uh, yeah, so that's what's happening today, guys. Um, let's get on it. Currently, the battery's dead in it. Somebody left the battery connected with the key on, so it killed the battery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push it back. I'm gonna get it over to the hoist here. Then I'm gonna pull my truck in and I'm gonna boost off my truck because we have to raise the car up so I can get it on the hoist. Okay, we got the car up in the air, guys. Got the trans set up. Mike's here. There he is, fixing his box because uh, working on my box. It flew off on the trails when we were riding. So he had some pieces machine to help bolt it down instead of rubber stretchy things. So fix that anyways. So we're gonna get this sabbed up into here. And then we're gonna deal with our cross member situation. Um, there's two different types of cross members. One's for a new edge, the other one's for this car. So we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do there. Kinda got the trans up in there right now. Um, it's a lot harder than I remember. <laughs> I used to do transmissions for a living a long time ago. And by yourself, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. So what I'm trying to do right now is get everything the trans made it up um, so we can get it in. It's very tight and there's not a lot of room to move things around, etc. So I'm just kind of working on that right now. Um, I got a strap on the motor to tilt the motor back to help me get the trans in here. Um, it's just fighting me a little bit, which is normal for, you know, five speed trans. Sometimes they just slide right in and sometimes they want to fight you. So we're going to have to do a bit of jiggling, things like that to get it popped in there. Then we're going to slam uh, the bolts in to hold it. And then we'll move on to the issue with our cross members. And then we'll go from there. I have the trans mounted up right now. It is in there um, looking pretty good. Um, so, oh, I'm dropping you guys. Sorry. So um, we ran into our next problem. So I'm trying to get the cross member in. We can't use this cross member it's from a new edge. So I wanted to use the factory cross member. Um, so I just noticed somebody 
relocated. They used to be right here. Somebody put them right here. So they obviously had a different trans in the car when it was a drag race car. So now we're gonna have to cut these mounts out and uh, put them back in their original spot, which is a bit of a bummer. So um, somebody welded them in and we gotta get them out without breaking up, like damaging them, which is uh, gonna be interesting. All right guys, so I just wanna show you what I'm talking about. So this is where the mount has been welded in pretty, pretty rough. Right here, you can see these welds. Um, and you can see where the trans is sitting. So they probably ran like a T5 or I don't know, some sort of automatic, maybe like a, or a power glide in it at one point. So you can see where it's supposed to sit versus where it's sitting now. This is the new edge mount. So you can kind of see the differences. So we're gonna have to cut these out and uh, put them back in the original spots. Um, I'm not doing that today. That's too much work. I don't feel like doing it. But um, that's kind of the situation we're at right now with the car, which is awesome. So that's kind of it for this car. I, um, I'm going to abort it right now. Uh, we still need a few things um, for it anyways. So um, at least we got a list of a couple things that we need. Um, so what we're going to do is we got to find the engine harness for that the, or the trans harness for the coyote swap, which I'm pretty sure it's on the gray car outside. Uh, so we're gonna go out there, pull the cover off that. Um, and we wanna get um, the front clip for that car off the ground. So uh, I think we'll try to find a spot where we can mount it up off the ground, maybe on the tires that are out here. So, so we're out here. Here's the old wheel still linking right here. Uh, here's the front clip to the car. So what we're going to do is we're just going to slide it over and uh, we're going to tip it back up, do a little twist. Ooh, this is hard by yourself. Okay. Um, you know, this thing, this front clip ain't doing too bad considering it's been sitting out here all, all winter. So we're just going to mount it up off the ground like this. And there's a fox body front clip just chilling right and then we can uh, get in the trunk of this bitch see what we got in here yeah. oh, don't tell me i'm gonna have to climb through there i'm gonna have to climb through to get the trunk open so give me a second okay. got the trunk pumped or popped here so Take a gander in the trunk here. And the pipes. Trans harness gotta be here somewhere. I think that's it right there. Uh, keep that. Take that out. Yeah, here's our power. Everything we need right there. Okay, give me a second, guys. I just gotta move a couple of things out of the way here. So got the trans harness out here um it actually has the battery and everything on it um so what we're probably going to end up doing is we're probably uh yeah see there's the alternator on here so what we're probably going to end up doing is um pulling this harness apart and then using um uh, sorry well maybe we can use this we just bypass the power We'll see. Maybe we'll use the whole harness because I think it's got like the trans brake and everything attached to it. I think that's what this stuff is. So, um, yeah, we'll see. All right, guys. So, I don't know if this is not much of a video. It might be a little bit windy up here. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So, here's my trailer out here. Um, I'm going to get working on this soon, too. Um, as well, there's my other tires for my, my uh, old truck. So, um, yeah, not much happening. I don't know if I'm going to put this video out. I'll see what happens when I get home. Piece it together, see what it looks like. Um, 
and we'll go from there. All right. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for sticking around, and uh, catch you on the next one, whatever that is.